Does booing help or hurt? Um, well, you know what? You know what? I, my, in 1999, I was having a really good year. We were coming down the stretch. We were going to the Astrodome to play the Astros. And I remember getting introduced and the, the, the place booed me. And I remember Barry Larkin saying to me, hey, man, you finally made it. If they're booing you, that means they know who you are. And I was like, all right, man, this is, all, this is awesome. But so, what about the home fans? The home fans. Uh, you know what? I think the one thing with the home fans, at, at the end of the day, like people come to see you play and they want to see you do well. So if they boo you because they're not happy that maybe this is the only game they're going to that year and you're not doing well, I understand. I can understand. I can understand. I've had that happen before. Like I've been on a bad streak with Cincinnati a couple of times and was very popular, but I got booed a few times and I understood it when I freaking grounded into the, another double play. Okay, but what Javi Baez did and, and some right. of his teammates, like, right. give me the logic behind that and doing that to New York fans. <laughs> wow, I don't know if there's a good logic as far as doing it to New York fans. Um, you know, I think, I, I, think, I think it was probably not the smartest of moves just because New York's New York. And, like, for me, I played in Boston, you know, in 2008. So, like, Boston, New York, Philly, they're, they're, you know, listen, they're great fans. They're passionate fans. They care. And New York, and I was talking to Cliff Floyd about this the other day. He's like, New York fans are some, especially Mets fans, are some of the most knowledgeable fans out there. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I know. I saw Javi's, you know, reaction. But as players, you have to understand, too, you get paid a lot of money to go out there and perform. And when you don't, you're going to get booed. That's just the nature of the beast. But when you respond with thumbs down, like it's you one thing to tick. Yeah. You can't do it. You just can't do it. I don't know, man. Like you, you gotta be able to look at yourself in the mirror too. Like, and say, you know what? I I'm not really playing that well in these last few games. And we are 10 games under 500 or, or whatever it was in our last 40. And you know, we're not giving the fans what they want. We are underachieving. Like, so you can't boo back to, to the fans when you're not getting it done. It'd be different if it was different circumstances, but the bottom line is the Mets are underachieving right now and the fans are booing. I don't think it's okay to boo back to the fans because it just sends a bad message. Well, it's, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg, you know, your bad play came before the booing started. If you play well, yes. then they're not going to be booing you. I yeah. just never understood. And I remember Tino Martinez told me that he went from the Yankees to the Cardinals and right. he said, you know, I would get booed at Yankee stadium. If I wasn't playing well, I went to St. Louis and they were like, hey, you'll get them next time. Yeah, and, and, and Tino said, I wanted them to yell at me. I wanted them to boo me. Like, I, I needed that. I, I expected that. Not like, hey, that's okay. You're 0 for 10. We'll get them next time, Tino. Come on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're going to be okay. Well, St. Louis is the one place. I remember you, you make a diving play on the visiting team. You come up, and they're cheering for you. You're like, Man, where are we? They're like, oh, but St. Louis, they, they cheer for everybody. You know what I mean? And I can see, like, you're right, Tina Martinez. Hey, you're all right, man. You're 0 for your last 27. You'll be better tomorrow. In New York, they're like, get out of town. You suck. You're out of here. Could you have played in New York? Yeah, I think I could have definitely played in New York. Yeah, I could have definitely played in New York, especially later in my career. <laughs> when, you start to, when you start to understand what it takes to play in places like that, you know? My, my last year, Danny, was in Boston, so and I ended up hitting well. So I always say, what was, they always say, what was your experience like in Boston? I said, it was unbelievable. You know, I ended up hitting over 300 and I never got booed. So it was a great thing. Great experience. 